Hi, and welcome again to the RCTO Hobby video channel. We're here with the Earthquake AD to discuss the low voltage cutoff. Hmm. Well, first let's turn the radio on. Okay, the radio is on. Now I'll turn the car on so you can see what it looks like at startup. Look for a flashing green light. Okay, so you got a flashing light. We have a little beeping, flashing light. There's a little whirring because there's a fan that's running. That's the fan for the electronic speed control or ESC. So this is what it looks like on startup. If you were driving your car around for a while and your batteries are kind of close to getting drained, what will happen? Well, you'll be able to start the car up, but very soon afterward, you'll have trouble driving it. It'll seem like, hey, this thing doesn't respond to the throttle. You know, I'm pulling the trigger and all of a sudden it's not moving. You know, what's wrong with this? If that happens, then you need to remove the body from the truck and look again for a flashing red light. If you see the flashing red light, that signals that you've hit the low voltage cutoff. So the Earthquake AE is a brushless electric truck. It comes with lithium polymer batteries. The lithium polymer batteries will be damaged if they're drained too far. So trucks like the Earthquake AE that come with lithium polymer batteries will generally have an electronic speed control that is programmed with a low voltage detector in it. So once you hit the low voltage cutoff, it'll cut out power to the truck that prevents you from damaging the batteries. Okay? So it's a good thing, not a bad thing. So if you hit the low voltage cutoff, there's not really anything you can do at that point except just recharge the battery. So at that point, if you're seeing the flashing red light, looks like we, you know, we ran it, we're, we're cooked, so you know, we ran it too far, so we'll have to shut it off, okay? shut the car off, turn the radio off, charge up your batteries, and once you get the batteries charged, you'll be good to go again. Okay? So I hope that helps you out and go out and have some fun.